All right, ladies and gents, have you all ever had that uh, issue with your 99 to 2018 year model Chevy? Maybe a cold morning or a wet, dewy morning. Um, you just get that annoying squeak or squeal, should I say, from your uh, front end, you'd say, from your motor. You're like, huh, oh, what is that? You know, and then it warms up and it kind of stops. Eh. Well, usually if it's not the serpentine belt, it is the AC tensioner or the AC tensioner belt. Yeah, I wish I could show you guys. It was bothering me really bad today and uh, I just couldn't take it anymore. So I was like, I'm going to the store. I'm going to, actually I didn't go to the store. I always order online. I ordered directly from Advance Auto um, a new AC tensioner and an AC tensioner belt. Um, came out to be 60 bucks with a discount, 52, three bucks, something like that. Um, but yeah, so here we are. Uh, it's December, about to put this here uh, tensioner on in the cool weather, but we'll be fine. Oh, uh, matter of fact, let me show you what I got. All right, so we got the uh, Deco parts here. We got the Deco poly rip uh, belt here. And we got the automatic belt tensioner here. I guess I want you to see how it looks. I mean, it's, I believe this part is like universal for at least 18 years of Chevy products between Tahoe's and Silverado's and all that. Um, this here video is pretty much universal, like I said from 4.8s to 5.3s to 6 O's. This, all, this whole video will be perfect for you guys. Anyway, here's the belt tensioner. And uh, I believe this is what's actually worn out on mine. The, the, the pulley itself is just all kinds of screwed up. This is a new one. Uh, they say it shouldn't take long, but we'll see. My truck's lifted. It's a little, little hard to work on. That's the ground, that's, that. yeah, so. Can't fit in the garage either, by the way. But let's see what we can do. All right, so for this process, you're gonna need the AC belt tensioner. Yes. The AC belt. Yes. A pull bar half inch drive for the serpentine belt. A three eighths drive pull bar for a for the lower uh, AC belt mount. And a ratcheting wrench of your choice, electric or regular ratchet. Um, you don't have to have electric, but it helps. A 15 millimeter socket. Um, I have a step down for three A's. And yeah. And you just need two hands and you'll be good. All right, so look. So, first thing you want to do half inch drive uh, pull bar, 15 inch millimeter. You're going to go up to the truck. And uh, uh, we have an issue here. It's a little, it's a little, this is eye level. Yeah. Give me a second. Alright, hold on. Gotta climb up. Bear with me. Yeah. Alright, I'm up here. Alright. 15 millimeter pull bar. You're trying to pull this belt off the serpentine. Because the tension off so you can get the belt off. Imagine that. Bear with me. Single-handed, we are gonna Trying to make this work. I'm not even seeing you, Kevin. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Belt should be. Oh, this is my hard work. Alright. Let me make sure my diamond is still on there. Just in case I forget. Alright. I don't know. It's so tough. Trying to make sure I don't throw anything off too much. I will recommend for people who have never done this before to take a picture of the uh, belt location before you actually do this because uh, your belt needs to go on and back the way it came off, you know what I mean? So, I don't know what happened there. <clears throat> but, I got my ratchet in my socket back. <clears throat> and I grabbed a warmer jacket. It is December here in Mississippi. And it's a little chilly. 
Hey, Lee, it's Jimmy. All right. Now. All right, so here we are under the lifted truck. I pulled the belt out of the way from off the pulleys on the lower side of the engine. All right. You have to do that to get the AC belt off. Otherwise, you'll never been able to get it off. All right, stay tuned. Three is pull bar. Gonna need that. Put that in here like this away. Like so so. So so. Oh, oh, this is gonna be hard to record. And then it holds off. Uh, how we can get it off. And Ta-da! I'm not even sure if y'all could even see that. I don't know. Anyways, I don't know if y'all were able to see that. I, it, it's hard to operate a camera with one hand and work with the other hand. Um, basically, just pull it off once you pry on the tensioner, and then it just pops right on off. And then, yeah, ta-da! And that's it. Um, so if I were just replacing the what the belt come in here and just put the other belt on the same way I just pulled that one off but now I have to actually uh, replace the tensioner as well I'm gonna show you how to do that another thing you want to do is make sure your belts are the same size so once again single-handedly pretty close pretty close let's see if I can mock it up a little better than that with one hand yeah, yeah, so it's pretty close. Anyway, all right, so that's that. Carrying on. Now we're gonna take 50 millimeters for these two bolts, pull those out real nice and easy. Uh, where's my socket? 15 millimeter. We're gonna need a step down, because I'm running half inch droop, uh, half inch dips on this, or sockets on this. Shut down and pull more. Let's see. All right, so take the pull bar, break that one loose. Boom. I don't even know if you saw that. But if you did, great. If you didn't, I'm sorry. All right. Hmm. This one. And I think I broke it loose. Pretty sure it did. Alright, here we go. Backing out the shell. Oh, oh there she went. Dark lows. Alright, make sure you recollect your beer bolts. You, you kind of want those. Alright. So, I want to tell you to verify that your parts are the same. Because guess what? That would suck if uh, you get out of there and they're not the same. Don't you think so? So here we go. I think that looks about the same. Let's stand them up. Stand them up. Come on, stand up. Look at that. Oh yeah. About the same. Eh, material's a little different. But, it'll work. That'll buff out. All right. So yeah, let's carry on with the reinstallation of that. All right. You don't have to have electric tools, but it sure helps. It sure helps, buddy. All right. Line these bolts up real quick. Man. Another high ray, uh, high ray uh, cameraman. All right, put that thing in forward. Oh. Oh, nice, I don't even know if you can see this. Where is my three?
All right, so I'm gonna give it a pull with uh, this pull bar, you know, just to make sure it's. All right, so working on a lifted truck and getting parts off kind of sucks. So I got it fixed, but anyways, like new as it was, AC belt on brand new and texture on brand new. Yeah, there we go, guys. Basically, all the steps that I did taking it off are the same as pulling it off or putting it back on. Sorry, like new, baby. Like new. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.